Hi, I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, how to use AWeber. I've been getting a lot of questions from people saying that they want to set up an autoresponder, but they're not quite sure how to set up AWeber. So um, let me show you how to go about doing that. If you go to AWeber.com, and assuming you already have an account, you go ahead and log in. Let me show you this. You log in and... Okay, once you log in, if you want to go ahead and, and create a autoresponder series, what you do is you need to click on Add New. And say I want to create a list. And you call this list just about anything you want it to be. Um, if it's going to be, say, a diet or well, weight loss program, maybe you'll call it something like diet weight loss. And put in your description and hit save. That's saying, oh, AWeber's saying diet weight loss is already in use, so let's just call it diet weight loss one. Surely that, yeah, that's available. So you say save. Okay, so now you actually have an autoresponder with the diet weight loss. And you can go in here and put your company name and your logo name and your email address. And here, let's just put in diet weight loss one diet and save from okay and we have save it's not a valid email address okay oh you gotta put it dot gmail dot com okay so that's all set up now our autoresponder set up now what we want to do is we want to go up to our messages and make sure that you're in the diet weight loss one see managing list diet weight loss one autoresponder okay so you set that up say add a message and in this message this will be your first message so you want to add something you know fairly catchy or maybe it's their free report that they're gonna get so I don't usually say enable tracking because the link that they put in the email is gets pretty ugly it's really long so we'll just put in here is your free report here is your free report and then give them a link and then you add in your link Okay, make sure you wrap it. Word wrap means it shortens it up here so that it fits into the email just fine. And you can go do a preview, but it's not necessary. Say save. Okay, so your first message is set up. And if you want to add in a new message, you can go ahead and do that. So let's assume that we have multiple messages. We can just keep adding them and adding them and uh, set the message intervals you know, on each message like this is going to go out right away your next one will be one day after that and so on you can change that as much as you like so now that we have that set up we're going to go in and do get the um, web form the code for the web form to add to your site So you create your web form and this is the part where you actually collect the email address from people from your sales letter that you will put on your page and it's working a little, little slow right now okay so we can call our web form you know I call mine something fairly descriptive like the name of the site 
think it was diet weight loss and then uh, it's inline so it goes actually on the page if you wanted to have it in a pop-up or a pop under you could do that the thank you page this is after they log in this is the page that they go to and it just says thank you for subscribing what have you and you can change that to whatever you want so let's say next and you want the name you drag that over and you want their email address I'm sorry it's just a click I guess okay I like having the name up on top so you have the name and their email address and that's about it if you want you know you can write in whatever headline you want and you just do that by clicking so you say save And then you go to get HTML. And this is the code that you will use to put on your page. So you could either put it in as a JavaScript, this code here, copy and paste that, or get the HTML code right here and copy and paste that into your page. And that's all you need to do in order to up your click on the link that says AWeber up at the right hand side there under the uh, YouTube information and that will allow you to go to AWeber and set up your autoresponder account. That's it. See you later.